I'm in the car. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, hello. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna put this right here. This is a really good intro. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's it. That's the intro. <laughs> That's the intro. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Okay. That's it. We're right. making a dolly doll. We're making a dolly doll. Okay. So, all right. Hold on. Let me start from the beginning. So, I'm here with Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel. So because I had to bring, there's been a bunch of stuff going on with my mom family stuff. And so I had to basically. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank I had you. a bear. I got it for you. That's for me. <laughs> I had to chaperone her kind of like up uh, to her home base in New Hampshire. And then I figured while I was here. I wouldn't allow it either way. If you tried to come up here without seeing me, I would, I would like, rage. No! <laughs> Get your ass back over here! We are hanging out just for like a short little while. It's like literally two days. <laughs> We're going to make a doll, a dolly doll. We're taking a Bratz doll. Imagine that it's right here. I'll put it in. Wow. <sighs> photo of this doll. And we're gonna make her into Dolly Parton. I'm also gonna put a picture of her here. Oh my god, it's Dolly! <laughs> wow, wow! There she is, she's right here. And that's it. That's it, so, that's what we're gonna yeah. do. We're at the, we're at Joanne's right now and mm -hmm. we're gonna get some fabric mm -hmm. for her little dress. We picked mm -hmm. out a good dress mm -hmm. that we think is doable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's and gonna do the dress. I'm gonna try to do the dress. <laughs> and I'm gonna paint her face and her hair. Her well, not I'm gonna paint hair. her hair, I'm gonna do her <laughs> hair. And it'll be a little like doll collab. Yeah. Because I've been on like a doll kick. Who hasn't? Honestly. So hit 30 of 35 and I'm like, <laughs> time to collect a bunch of dolls. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> well, <guys. laughs> well, I'm 35 and it's time for dolls, Let's actually. <laughs> so this is the dress we're gonna make. See? Uh, it's almost like I make videos too. <laughs> what? I know what's up. You make videos? I know what you can do in post. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go into Joanne's and to get the fabrics. Yeah, we're gonna scrounge. Scrounge, scrounge. Scrounge. That's... We're gonna need like literally this much of each fabric. Yeah. Can I get, can I just get an inch? Can I get like <laughs> this much? <laughs> can you just cut off this much? Just, no, that's too much. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Hey, goodbye. What does that mean? So, so much, oh, much room in my oh, heart. Oh, so much room. So much room. I was like, so mushroom in my heart. So mushroom. <laughs> and I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> There's just so mushroom. There, you know what's in my heart? So mushroom. So mushroom. <laughs> found it. I don't like it. <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> the tiniest refract that you ever did see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's windy here. Hi. We have gotten the goods. Some of the goods. Now we're going to pop to Michael's. Yeah, because we have to see if... um. They have some some sort of sealant because I forgot to bring my Mr. Super Clear. That's all me. We're gonna go see if Michaels has something. Something. Hey, I'm in a new place. Oh, <laughs> I'm in a new place. If you, some of you might recognize it and some of you might not. If you don't, this is Rachel's. I was gonna say house, but it's not your house. It's the barn. Yeah, we're in Rachel's barn. Because we're crafting in here. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Supplies. We got our supplies. We got supplies. leather. We got gingham. We got buttons. We got hopefully a clear sealer that works and is not shiny. It says it's matte, but here's hoping that it is. We got the tiny baby uh, Rick Rat. Red thread. Awesome. And then the doll. That's really important for this one. The doll. The book. The book that we're referencing from. Boo. Rachel got me this for Christmas. Yeah. So it literally, I bought it here, shipped it down to Georgia, and now it's back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
also a tiny little tiny tiny oh guitar. God. Oh my god. Play Wonderwall. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Unbox the baby. I've been waiting forever to unbox this because I got it delivered to my house, but I couldn't do anything with it, so she was just sitting there forever, and I was like, I just want to open it. Anyway, this is her, I guess, in all of her brat's glory. Wait, play us a little ditty. That's definitely how Dolly holds her guitar. <laughs> just with the Hold limp up. fingers. There you go. Oh, there. cute! There that goes. is so cute! And she has a little guitar! And that's it, everybody. Thanks for thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs> that's all. We made a Bratz doll and a Dolly Parton. <laughs> I'm gonna use this dress, but we're doing like an amalgamation. We're not doing like this whole and like this exact outfit. I think we're doing this dress, but then like her more big 70s hair. We got some red leather for that part. For her little corset. Yeah. And then the gingham for the dress gingham. and also you may notice Dolly Parton. Mm -hmm. She has boobless. <laughs> has a couple giant assets. Yes. Um, and so I'm gonna felt some of her chesticles. Ta -ta. So that is so that way, you know, it, it's a little bit more like that and not her brass proportions. No offense, Chloe. We love all sizes here, but <laughs> Dolly's got well, a we couple gotta, differences. We gotta fix some <laughs> Jingles here. The Bojangles. The Bojangles, so. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Yeah, hell yeah. So, alright. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, so before Savannah starts on the face or during, I am going to wrap her body and make the teeniest little pattern pieces ever for this corset. Hopefully, with the the boobies in there so I can yeah. just wrap on top of that. For the skirt and the sleeves, I'm not too worried about, but for this corset where it's, you know, sewed to her proportions, I think it's probably gonna be important to make like a sewing pattern. I am so mad with how flexible these were and they were not when we were little. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little pissed, okay. <laughs> a little pissed. And then while she does that, I'm going to take off her face with acetone and cotton. So like usual, we'll take 100% acetone and just soak it off of her face. This is always very satisfying for me. I don't know why. Naked. Oh, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> Clean face and then we're gonna, I have to prim prime her with that, with this primer. This one, I don't know if it's good. We're gonna take a gamble and see. But first, I am going to make a tiny little pattern like she is the tiniest little cosplayer to exist. So I'm just gonna use the old tried and true plastic wrap and duct tape. And I'm just doing this for the corset so I really just do not need a lot of it at all. Do you have to put more plastic in for her? Extra boobies? Oh yeah, shit. Shit. Shit, they're gonna make boobies. Do you think Dolly, at this very moment in time, her ears are ringing and she knows that someone is contemplating her booby size? She's like, I'm making a doll. I think someone out there, somewhere, is making little boobies on a doll <laughs> of me <laughs> and questioning. Yeah. She's looking good. That looks like it. So if I look at this, I'm learning. So it goes like boop.
Dog clothes. <laughs> They're the same as human clothes. <laughs> but just really small. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can take these teeny tiny little pattern pieces and cut them out of my red leather. This is your pattern making song. It's very red rats and I love it. Pattern making, it's really great. Mm. Making a pattern is fun. Wow, <laughs> those lyrics. You made it out of duct tape. <laughs> oh. And now you put it on the fabric. Wow. <laughs> I wrote that. I, I wrote that for you, actually. Oh my god. It took a long time. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I hope to see you at the Grammys next year. I will be there, actually. They already contacted me. Oh my god. And no they, they were like, you're going to be there, right? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, just letting you know you already won. Oh! <laughs> Can I hear your rendition of 9 to 5? Working 9 to 5 <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, that's pretty good! <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I know. Alright, I'm gonna sew these together. Why not? Okay. She's dry, although I will say she's kind of shiny and that's what I was afraid of. Don't use this for face-ups, it's not good. But that's okay, because it's my fault because I forgot my Mr. Super Clear. I tried to de-shine her a little bit by taking some acetone on a pad and just kind of like, huh, huh, like quickly, fast wipe, so that she still has some sealing on. At this point, I just started sketching the face on. I did end up changing it a little bit later, but this is my first initial pass. Also, the second face that I drew, my head was in the way because I keep doing that for some reason and I don't know why. And I don't know how other people who do top-down stuff don't get their head in the way. Anyway, just sketching it on with watercolor pencils. A dollop for Dolly. And then like usual, I went in with my gouache paints and I'm using white just for the eyes, putting down the shapes first. I'll do the pupils and then the eyelid color and then the eyeliner. on the cheeks just to give her a nice rosy look.
sleeve it's on. It's a fitting. It's a sleeve fitting. Ah. <laughs> she said, Just stop. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then we're gonna gather the skirts and it'll look like a cute little thing. A thing. Yeah. And we have to paint this, right? Yeah. Okay. And put the buttons on. Now put the buttons on. I gotta do another sleeve, because unfortunately there's two of them. Damn two sleeves. I really wanted to give her her quintessential big smile, but it was really hard with this mold. So I was trying to pencil it in and see how it would look. And then Rachel finished the little skirt and the sleeves. And then I went back to working on the lips. Yeah, I don't know how it'll look like trying to put a, like teeth into her face. Even though her mold her isn't made with teeth in mind, really. Right. So I drew it on. I don't know if it's going to work. I drew it on. And like this part in here is going to be the teeth. But it's so indented in that it's almost like... I almost feel like I should put like clay or something in here. You know, to like fill it. Let's try. You might not. Yeah. Yes. We'll see. I'm going to try and see what happens. Your eye, your head. I'm trying not to, but I keep doing it. I don't know if I like that because it looks really weird. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I like bring her lip line up and do more of the teeth like on her upper lip. So like there's an indentation where the teeth end? Or yeah, like where the indentations are more like down here. Mm. Okay, I have to like really sit down and look at this really hard with my face like this close to it. So we're gonna try that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna be cheap here and yep. I am going to glue everything on because the idea, the, the mere thought <laughs> of sewing on this tiny rickrack to this <laughs> tiny dress makes me want to scream. Here's a little skirt with the wig back, and it's the freaking cutest thing ever. Okay, now I'm just gonna do her sleeves. And uh, this, and her corset, and woof. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I think it's cute. I don't know, I think you're wrong. <laughs> so the lighting for. for it looks like she's like, ah! <laughs> Get her in a nut shot. It's me, Dolly Parton! <laughs> That's what she looks like. What is it? <laughs> it's his. Oh, 
<laughs> she's like. <laughs> That's what she looks like. She's cute. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Careful, SpongeBob. Oh, that was a satisfying crunch. That was a very satisfying crunch. I'm gonna see if this will work. So we got some straws. We got some paper straws. And we're gonna take her hair and like twist it around to make curls. And then we're gonna steam it with a steamer. And, <laughs> and then see if that she gets curls that way. Just that hair, this one. Make all of the hairdressers cringe all over the universe. And you can say, suck it, suck it. This is what I think about your expertise. Expertise. <laughs> They're like, I don't care, you're cutting a doll's hair. And we're like, suck it! <laughs> How do you feel about that, huh? Oh, you like that? Look at it! Yeah! Duh! Mm. A clean cut. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I should just curl all of it and then just cut the pieces I need to cut. Yeah, that might be easier. Okay. <laughs> maybe we'll just do that. What is that? <laughs> What is that? It's just she's just setting her hair. <laughs> That's it. I have it on good authority. This is what Dolly Parton always looks like. This is how Dolly like. does her hair. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> excuse me, this is how I do my hair every day. <laughs> well, and now I guess we'll steam it and hope that either the elastics don't break or the the paper straws become. Soggy and mushy. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Probably should have sealed her face before I sprayed oh. on it. Maybe I should do that really fast. Probably. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. This is all water-based paint. Oh no! <laughs> Let me just... I'll just turn that off for now. Let me just... Changed. Rachel popped off somewhere and I just want to see how these turned out because I'm very curious. Ooh, these just slip right out, huh? Whoop. Oh, this looks like it really worked. Oh, it did. It worked. I need to brush it out. Hold on. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. But yeah, we're almost there. I don't, I still don't know if I like her mouth. I'm not sure. Well, I'm gonna trim it and style it off camera because it's gonna just take a lot of me being like, huh, 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 over and over again. So it is the next day. I styled the hair and here we're just putting the finishing touches on the bodice. We had painted it, well, Rachel painted it and she's putting on the buttons. And then we're gonna put on Rick Rack and yeah, put the whole outfit together. Definitely recommended even for real hair. Just hot glue mm -hmm. a hair rat onto your head for extra volume. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna try to cover this. <laughs> tiniest brush. The tiniest brush. Just 
Here, do you need this? Oh. <laughs> This is really good music. Do 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 do. There you go. Wow! Thank Done. you, Welcome. Rachel. Everybody. <laughs> well, I'm gonna use the tip to heat it up. Oh, the that's already there. Oh. Okay. Gonna... Oh, that's cute. I think that'll work. Oh, Nobody look at my nasty nails. I pulled off all my fake nails today. Everyone's gonna look at him. Don't look no, at no, him! Close up look. No! <laughs> I'm just no! gonna I'm gonna work like this. Don't look at my nails! <laughs> Don't look at my nails, everybody. Oh, she's wicked cute. Wow. Does that look like her hair kind of? Yeah, she's super cute. I love her. Now I'll put a butterfly right here. I'm making a makeshift bow and it's gonna be really ugly, but it's okay. Stick it like right oh, there. I love that. Okay, 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 okay. It's coming along. Like so. Also, side note, if you've ever wondered what it's like to craft with both Rachel and Savannah. <gasps> that and also just chaos. Ah! <laughs> it was even more chaotic before. This whole table was covered. Yeah. And I, I had like this much space to work on. And then she was I cleaned up on my like, end. Uh, like she was, we were working on the book, and then like on the chair, and yeah, then like a little corner. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, but you know what? The good news is we understand each other because we both understand we're tornadoes. Yeah. So it's like just to. Be the expectations expected. are already there. So. Yeah, it's not like I'm gonna come in and be like, oh, what the hell? Why is everything not quite and picked up while you're working on it? I'm like, yeah, no, I'm it's the same way. <laughs> Watch me throw stuff all over the place. We just throw stuff together. <laughs> Ow. Burning. Cute. Cute. <laughs> it's just me. Still. You're like, wow. Okay. Wow, that is voluminous. Hell yeah. Well, she's a doll, so yeah. She's just having a good time. So when we made her boobies out of felt, we didn't think you would see them at all and that they would be completely covered by the bodice. But once we put the bodice on, we realized you definitely could see them and it looked really weird. And also that the bodice fit kind of weird. So we decided that I was going to make little clay boobies <laughs> at home and then like really finagle the bodice to fit when I got back to my house because we were running out of time. <laughs> so the day after I flew home, it was so nice to hang out with Rachel and craft with her. I had such a good time. And then I had the worst flight back ever. I was stuck in an airport for like 12 hours, essentially between this flight and my connecting flight. But I did see cool thunderstorms which I felt like recording because it was just really cool to watch them from the sky. <laughs> but after that, I got home and I went on to complete the rest of the dolly doll. I had some lightweight Sculpey that is supposed to be baked in an oven, so I had some of that left over, so I made some little boobies, some little boobalas. Just tried to form them to fit on her chest, and then I baked them in the oven. I also felt like you weren't gonna see these, and I don't know why I keep thinking that, but definitely once I got them on and glued them to her body and everything, I realized that there was a harsh line. And I think next time if I have to do modifications like this, I'll have to use like epoxy or something and blend it into the body better. Once they were glued on, I just mixed a bunch of paints and tried to match her skin tone and painted the bubbies. <laughs>
Once they were dry, I used just a bunch of glue and force to like get this bodice to mold to her body. It was very difficult because the contrast between her chest and her waist is so intense. So it's hard to get clothes to kind of wrap around something like that. But I think I did it in the end. And then I just put a strap on the guitar and after that, I was done. So let's see those glamour shots. that I liked and I didn't like. I do think she turned out super cute and the guitar is such a fun little touch. I don't really like exactly how rough the face up looks. I think it looks okay from far away but close up it's kind of sketchy. And then the paint on the bodice started chipping off when I started kind of like pulling and twisting it because we never sealed it or anything. So I think that it doesn't look great when you're close up, but from far away you can't really tell, especially when she has the guitar in front of her. <laughs> Those are my two biggest gripes. I don't know if it really exactly looks like Dolly. I feel like it gives the vibe of Dolly, but it might not look like her exactly. But I tried my best. This was my first time trying to recreate like an actual person. <laughs> and I think that in the end, moving the teeth up and the mouth up helped a lot. If you get too close, it does start looking kind of weird, but from far away, the illusion works, and that's all that matters. What do you think about this whole process? Did you enjoy watching it? Do you want to see more collabs with Rachel and I in the future? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, I have a sticker club that you can subscribe to every single month. I send out new stickers, and by joining, you'll get to vote and give me ideas on what you'd like to see for the next month and I ship out the stickers at the end of each month. And yeah, it's a fun way to just get fun new art and I have a sticker book that you can put stickers in. And you can follow me on social media. I'm Savannah Alexandra Art on everything. Subscribe if you like my stuff and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you later. Okay, goodbye.